How many of you guys like to go hiking, be outdoors, and enjoy fresh air? I do. I do. What would you do if I told you you could do all of those things and make some money? Sweet. Nice. <laughs> Does anybody know what trapping is? Yes. Uh -huh. What is trapping? Uh, you go out and try to catch fur-bearing animals. Okay. So, <laughs> trapping is where you want to catch an animal and you're pretty much going to catch it for its fur. Does anybody know why trapping is important on the environment? It's to try to keep the population in check so it doesn't get too high. Yes. So when you're trapping these bobcats, you don't want to have too many, you know, bobcats in one area because the carrying capacity won't allow for these animals to remain healthy in this environment. So if you have like five miles and it could carry three cats, if you have too many of these animals and you have 10 cats in this area, they're going to starve and be malnourished. So by trapping, we're helping control the environment and you get money in your pocket. So there's that. And then once you catch, once you catch your cat, now you have to practice or learn how to skin it out and stretch your cat. Because when you do that, you have these fur buyers that want to buy your fur. They're going to look at it very closely to see how well you have skinned it and how well you stretched it. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys today is how to properly skin and stretch your ball cap. The first thing when you're doing it, what you're going to need to skin a ball cap is a ball cap. <laughs> the next thing you're going to need is a skinning knife, which here we use the case, the mini trapper, and it's just for skinning out your animals. So this is what we'll be using in this video. And um, on here, on this first picture, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay your cat flat on its belly on a flat surface because you're going to make an incision here about three inches above the pad all the way up to the anus. So that's why you want it to be flat on its belly. And in this view, we show you that this is where you're going to start your incision, which here's the pad, about three inches above the pad. And you're going to cut from here all the way up the leg to the butt. In this view, this shows the incision that goes all the way up the leg to the anus. And this, we cut it a little too deep to show you that you do not need to cut it very deep. You just need to get under that fur to separate it from the skin. And this, you could just see that it's cut deep. And what you do to one leg, you're gonna do to the other leg. In this one, what you're doing is you're pinching the fur, removing the fur away from the muscle, and you're gonna cut at the white tissue, slowly pulling the fur away from the, the muscle and you're going to have your knife pointed down towards the meat. You never want to point your knife towards the fur because you could cut a hole in your fur and that'll devalue your fur. Here we're still cutting, just showing you that, you know, that's further on. We're still pinching and removing the fur and we're cutting at the tissue and we're cutting at the bottom part of the foot by the Achilles tendon where we're going to remove the fur here on this next one. Once you've created the gap here between the fur and your meat, you're going to pull that and create a gap between here and your foot. Once you've created that gap and you've got the fur all the way to the pad of the foot, we're going to cut and remove the fur so that your feet are free from the fur. The next step what you have is a gamble, and this is a gamble, and this is what you're going to hang the Achilles tendon from your cat, the back legs on it. Here you're going to have this hung up high on something sturdy, so that all you have to do is have your cat dangling here, and this is what we'll, we'll be using this as a gamble. And it's not shown on here, but that is what is holding this down. And I ask everyone in my audience to turn their phones off, so if you please do not answer that. Here, what we're doing is the cat is hanging on the gamble, and we're going to slowly start pulling the sides of the fur down all the way to the butt. And this is just another picture of, 
us pulling down that fur, going as far down as we can. And this is the fur all the way up to the butt here. It's pulled all the way down. And what you do to this side, you're going to do to the other leg as well. And this is what it's going to look like when you have your, all the fur has been pulled down to the lowest point possible, leaving just this fur here in the crotch. The next step, what you're going to do is you're going to want to work your hands between the fur and the body, working your hands in the upward motion to the crotch. You want to get to that highest point possible up here to get as much fur in as you can. Right here you're going to cut, cut at this highest point to separate that fur from the body. This here is just showing that that's where we made the cut and now you can see that your fur is free from the legs and the crotch part. And you're going to do the same to the back as you did to the belly. You're going to work your hands between the fur and the body and work your hands all the way up to right about here. And right here you're going to make an incision removing part of the anus and you have your tail is still attached. So what you're going to do is, is slowly cut around your tail not cutting the tail off, just cutting the tail, fur from the tail, and you're going to see that next. This is called a tail splitter. This is what you're going to use to remove the fur from the tail. And what you're going to do is, is stick the tail in here, clamp it down, and you're just going to pull it, and it's going to cleanly remove your tail fur from the tail. As you can see, we have it clamped here. Mm -hmm and we're just going to pull it and it's going to remove that tail and keep the tail intact. And this is just another picture of the tail splitter here. In this view here you can see that the fur on the tail is completely removed so now there's nothing attaching it to the bottom part of the body. The next step was what we're going to do is we're going to cut the tail, split the tail. So you're going to take from the base of the tail, you're going to cut down the center all the way to the tip of the tail. Here, this is what your cat looks like now, now that it's completely done and it's just dangling here. Our next steps are we're going to grab the sides of the fur and we're going to pull it as far down as we can and we'll show you grab the fur and you just start to pull it down. You can see it was up here, now it's coming down to here. And now the fur, you know, it's further down, so you just keep pulling all the way down until you get to the base of the shoulder blades. Okay, so you get the, the fur stretched all the way down to the shoulders here. You can see there's the shoulders and this is the back of the head. This is as far down as you want to stretch it by pulling it all the way down. This is just another angle of how far you need to kind of go on the front view if that's how you're looking at it. There. And right here what we're doing is we're trying to create a gap in here between that arm and the neck. So we're just working our hands through the base of the neck and under that shoulder blade creating a gap. So in the next one we'll show the gap in there. Here's the gap and the reason why you want this gap in here is because you're going to hold this arm up and you're going to be pulling that fur all the way down to the pad and you're going to do that on both arms. You could see how we've removed that fur all the way down to the pad. And this is what it looks like with both arms removed down to the pad. This next step we have what you're going to do to remove the fur from its pad or the foot. You're just going to circularly cut circular cut around the foot and then you're just going to remove that fur from the pad. And this is what it looks like once you've got all the fur removed from the body and the arm. So now you just got to focus on pulling this down. So that's what we'll start doing next is you're going to, we use the tissue because it can get slimy with the fat and the tissues in there. So we just use this to kind of get a good grip on it. 
What we're going to do now is start pulling this fur above the head and you're going to want to pull all the way down until you hit the ear lobes or the ears and you can tell it's the ears because it's a really spongy feeling and you could kind of see it if you're paying attention and it, we could be pointed out to where that ear is located and once you get to that point you're going to cut parallel with the ear cutting parallel pointing towards the skull Once you, you can see where we made our parallel incisions and now we're continuing, we continue to pull down the fur. Now we're cutting at the eyes and when you cut at the eyes you'll see that you've removed the eyelids and the eyelashes and you will see the hole for the eye socket. And then once you've got that done you're going to pull the fur all the way down to the tip of the nose and once you hit the tip of the nose you're going to cut that and remove it and then your fur will be completely removed from the body. And this is what it looks like once you've got it completely removed from the body. It's inside out. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to have your flushing board. And this is the flushing board. You just prop it up like this. What you do is you have the bottom end up against like a sturdy wall so it doesn't move. And you're going to put your cat on here. You're going to put this up against your belly. And you're going to use this tool to flush off the, scrape off the, the excess fat and tissues that are going to be on there. And you're going to use a little bit of borax to put on there to help keep it kind of dry. And borax is a dry laundry or powdered laundry detergent that you could use. So this you just kind of scrape it gently, not hard and not fast, just gently scrape it just to remove any of that excess fat and tissues. And then once you're done with that, you will, there's another picture of what you'll do. Here, once you've got it all flushed or, you know, got all the stuff off of there and you put it in your borax to make sure you don't want, um, you want it to dry out properly. And if you don't use the borax, it could actually cause your fur to slip which slipping means it causes bald spots. And once again, if you have bald spots, it'll devalue your fur. So, so what you're going to do here is put your thumb, your pinky, and your middle finger, one in the arm, the arms, and the middle one in the nose, or the mouth part, and you're going to pull it right side out. <coughs> so now, your cat is going to be right side out, and you're going to put it on a stretching board and this is a stretching board you're going to put your cat on this board with the nose up here and you're going to stretch it all the way down and this right here is for the tail to secure the tail but this is what you're going to put your fur on and pin it down and once you've done that this is what your cat will look like pinned down on your stretching board you could see that there's the pins in here and it's pinning down every spot on here. And you just want to pin it down and stretch it down as far as you can to ensure that it's going to be a nice, big, long cat. Once you've finished with the drawing, when you dry it, it's going to take about maybe a week to dry and you want to make sure you have adequate time to dry it. This is what your fur will look like when you're done. It will be nice and stiff, but you could still see the hair, that it's got the long hair, the white belly in the back. And as you can see, there's you know, no cuts and no holes on it, and that's what they like to see. Yeah. Okay, and everything that we've learned today, we learned that the importance of why trapping is important on the environment, and we learned why it is important to properly skin and stretch out your cat. And I hope that everything we went over today, you guys, you know, learned from it. And you could use my techniques when you guys go out and catch your own animals and need to skin it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.